Sorry that took so long. Getting stuff ready is hard. Uh, creative. Wall shirts valve gear test. Yes, that one. Trying to get all this stuff put together. That was probably not good. I asked out why scrap mechanic was in the middle of the loading process. Well, let's see how this works. It loaded, hopefully. Okay, it hasn't crashed yet. Oh, so this is where we left off with the episode. Three wheels connected axle. Is one offset 90 degrees from the other? Yes. And if I press this button, it has a simple. Yeah, it does. Okay. So this is your very, very simple train setup with no control. Can't control whether it goes forward or backwards or how fast forward or backwards. So I'm going to try to fix that. So now that I have this and I can make modifications to it. So first, I need to know where the piston position is. And the powerless piston to be able to move it back and forth because it's going to have to move and I don't have, like, bushings to support. Do I not have that mod on? I might not. Very good chance I don't. I click. Why is P... What's H then? I don't know. I'm in the menu sensor. Oh, there's a block sensor that must be in the mod pack. Uh, wait. Paint that white and this white. What is the DPI of the mouse system? Uh, there's mouse sensitivity options, I think. Uh, brightness, audio. Aim sensitivity. So if we turn it to 100, that really didn't change anything. Graphics display. Eyes vertical sync. Adjust this real quick. This is gonna start annoying me. Now settings, cursor speed. I'll do like a 14. Was like 10. Okay, that's a lot better. Turn up my volume on headphones. Some. Okay. Now, this is where things are going to start getting complicated, and I'm going to start getting confused. That was definitely the wrong place. So now, if I have a sensor... There. And it is set to go, what, three blocks? So another sensor there. And if I switch that to a switch... Oh, 
That's a V. Let's change this to a switch instead of. Switch it on. So that gives me sensor position. And with them being 90 degrees offset, it just helps it have a power move every 90 degrees. So while one's pushing, the other one's going to be pulling. So they're going to be on two completely different systems. And it will just make it ride a lot smoother. Instead of rough ish, hopefully. That's definitely the wrong place. So now those two are there. Yeah. E is the button to press in this game, not F. That's space features. So, with those set to color mode like that, if I take this off, and I get a timer. It's a smart timer. What's the difference? Apparently, there's a Q. I might need to look it up. Logic gate. So now, if I have two logic gates and a timer for each side, of course, it would be scrap mechanic that you missed with. That was there. Just back on the left, well, it. So now with that there, and if I take a little logic bit, so it will only go one way currently until I do the first bit. I'll also go with it, and then try to simplify this down as much as I can, and maybe into mechanical. If I can get it to work mechanical and scrap mechanical. That will be a humongous accomplishment if I can get it to work mechanically. I don't have to use any. Well, <laughs> hopefully, no logic, if not just little. So, turn that down for I can hear myself think. Take this off one ear for also hear myself think. Also, hear myself talk because that helps me think these things through better. Logic bit. Uh, how did this go? This way, I know that. Can't remember what ones they are though. Uh, is there a 7 second stop bit in here somewhere? Uh, just EV. Yes, yes, there is. So, uh, buttons on one of these ends. Okay, this goes there, which then goes to there, then there, a nor, a nor, a nor. Now with that, every time this sensor is activated, it should turn that off, which then will turn it 
turn that over to that. So when that it gets expanded out to there, that turns that off. And I want them to be offset by like two seconds. Well, offset where when this one's out, this one's just starting. So I also need to take this sensor, add it to a bit that controls this bit, the sensor of this one that controls another bit. See what I mean by simple it down? This is going to be awfully humongous at the end of all this. Uh, we don't want to put all that, but see if I can sneak it in between the wheels. Then that's just going to like control the distance. That ain't going to do about here. All other stuff. This is just to see if this will work this way. And if it does, then I'm going to have to change it to mechanical. Because this is scrap mechanic we're talking about. You never know if anything's going to work. That's definitely place. It's weird. I'm looking at a TV downwards. Definitely throwing off my perspective. All the reset buttons afterwards, so it's always a smart thing. Okay, so this sensor, when that is out, should trigger this one. So now if I have an AND gate from this output and this output, this piston can move. If I have this sensor, when it's out, this on your place in the and gate. So we'll go into there. Also take this feed that piston. Okay, so now I need to add something to reset these. I'm guessing that's just going to be this other sensor. It resets it when it returns back to its zero state. Okay, this is a mess already. So now I need to add a start button. So we'll do a button. So we'll set that like here in the middle so I know what it is. And then that is this. I'm just going to go to a four. Another AND gate for each of these. I'm gonna have to start color coding. Okay. Two white ones, the ones that goes to the pistons. Well, the ones that come from the pistons. The gray ones, this one's gonna go to the pistons. The light blue one is reset. Well, start. Okay. So I need to take this output, put it into there. that output off there. This output's gonna go to there and this here. Okay. So now instead of going to the piston, that's gonna come here. And then go to the piston. So then this is gonna have that in it and this is gonna be a war gauge. Keep your sound on with your screen off. And listen uninterrupted. Try so instead of you going to that piston, you're gonna go to there and then to that piston. And then add this into that. So if I press that button, it should start it. And then I need a off switch. <sighs> Rain it bright red. Like this is emergency switch. 
this one be greenish because go. Now I need another chicken. That's gonna go there. Ain't you red before I know what is. Okay, I'm gonna pick two colors randomly. Yellow will be this side. Uh, you do which side? This gate, just that side. Of course it does. And this light purplish blue. Oh no, that's purple. Okay, so that's that side and this side. Off switch. Go here. This would be a NAND. Where when it's on, it doesn't do anything. And this needs to go to these AND gates. So when that's off, when that's on, it won't do. Okay, set this horrible mess on track. This is probably gonna pulse to a high heck effect. It didn't! So, start button. Get it to turn one complete route. Oh, it's because it's hitting them logic gates. I'm smart. So let me move all this stuff back one. Paint them their respected colors. Take those. Nor. Nor. Or. Nor. Nor. Or. Was that that? Of course it was. You go middle. You weld back together. Are you still one piece? Yes. Yes. Okay. Reset button. Reset that gate for me. Okay. Off switch. All oh, that's still the same. So now I need to take. Positive from this sensor to switch this over to that, or when that's out, this goes to this one. Okay, and I just did that on the purple side. It's just purple. <laughs> My ADHD is going to start catching up with me here soon. Also, my OCD. Let me sit down. Way a little bit, turn the microphone this way, and then this way. Twitter, you can hear me. Let's hope that I'm close enough to it. Oh, no, let's see. Still hear me? Okay. Looks like it can, but it's hard to tell. I'm great at screwing things up. Uh, what 
was, it looks like I've been going for 30 minutes by what Twitch says. Uh, my phone's in my pocket. I need to look at the pair. Look at the dashboard. Okay, now that I left that I can continue. Oh, that was fingered. Uh, no, not three. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I just hooked that up to the purple side, so now I need to hook this one up for this side. Okay, I need to take this sensor. Oh, I didn't hook it up completely. Uh, is that the back sensor? Yeah, it is. So when that activates, this should turn that off. And that will turn it back on. And that goes to there. So I know I need to take this sensor and add it to the one that's off. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, it's all of that stuff for the back house now. It does activate the piston that this is back this and back this and that one. Uh put you on this track. Oh I also deleted the wheel thing. That's nice. So that's why I needed to delete it, not one of those. Get up one here. That's shift. Why is shift print on every other game I own? Shift is what control is print. Uh, because it's in F2. Here it is. Uh, is that the right way? Yes, yes it is. Okay. Oh, this is also one that has a bearing on it, isn't it? No, it isn't one with bearing the sound on the side. Good. You can use Google Assistant to play your songs. Get YouTube Music Premium. Oh yeah, I hear you use it. Uh, YouTube ad. So now that should try to keep it in the trash. So now if I hold this button, I might have to use thrusters or something since I don't have like a startup mechanism. So with all this stuff, it almost took it. All my logic sliding up. Why isn't this one? I have all the inputs into it, I think. Oh no, let me stand back here and press the button where I can watch the one. It moved. I don't see that white logic gate on the upside like that. No. Oh, because it hasn't got to activate the piston. That makes more sense. Oh, if I saw it flash. Oh, that's not good. Okay, it reached out something good. Well, Do I have a train saved in that works? D-R-A Uh Uh, that one might work Oh, build, build, shape. Oh, that's because that one has power of distance in it This one doesn't Okay, shake that off Do you have pressures on you? We don't need that. This should be able to push this. Now this is a simple one. Very, very simple. Piston actuated. Then it's all by switch. And you use it, since it's this way, to get it going in the right direction, you use the motor. So, turn this on, let it go. That's the wrong way. Turn motor up more. Keep it going in the right direction.
turn this on. Well, I'll just put electric motor up to the wheel on this thing. I can probably delete that to minimize the lag time. Electric. That was the microphone. Electric motor. That was definitely my concrete block. Oh, that's why it's not working. Look at all the wheels. That one's up. That one's down. Scrap again. Might as well be its motto. This is up and that's down. Uh, which one has it connected? This one. So I want to turn this one. This one. That one. Oh, they're connected in between the two? That makes sense. Look that up. And this either will slip or try to push this. I might have just to have motor up for these actions. I was hoping I didn't have to do that. Though to see if this will work or not. See if it even tries to take over. It's gonna have to be an electric motor of some sort. Is there like a free spin? Oh yeah, it does. Right there's why it wouldn't move. Can I fix that problem on this side? No. Now it might work. See now if I hold up this button. It's thinking about it. Trying to time it too quickly, so in between, so I can delete this stuff off the front and just leave the timer. And then, which one's going to where now? You are coming from this one, because of course, you are. Yellow one's going in there, so it was hooked up back. Well, that makes more sense now. So now if I just hook this up to there and this up to here, it'll probably work. There's a lot to learn when you're a new parent. Like the ins and outs of nap time. Get them to so that one's out with ad free videos. Try our family plan. Which means we'll turn these down to like the second one. So, this one's activated, tell that one to go out, so this sensor also sees that, correct, it does. Well, that also means that these sensors are put up since I changed it. Well, if I fix all my stupid mistakes, it might work. What?
switches off, so why is none of them white ones made? So where did I screw up here? What? I don't know. What I normally get, I guess. Okay. So now I'll figure out where I screwed up. I hooked this up to the wrong one. When that's out, this should turn off and we'll switch that. Which then tells that one to push out because that one is back. No, because it is out. That's right, I think. Thank you, I reserve the higher you say that for the follow. I'm horrible with games. <laughs> okay, so all of the logic there is working properly. It's just them white ones are not turning one at all. Because I can set here and pulse the button for it to move. Though those white logic gates aren't even lighting up. So where did I screw up? That's bad enough for it to not want to work. Uh, that's coming from off. So when that lights up, that turns off. Does it turn off when... Yep. So I have these sensors hooked up backwards. So that needs to go here, and this needs to go there. Now with that there and that there, and if I press this button, it should take off. Correct? No. Okay, this one is going to there, which turns that off, which turns that on, which is putting power to that piston, which is telling this one to be off. Well, that means that this sensor and this sensor can be switched so now if I change that and hold this button let it pick up speed does that work for my the way I understand logic it should This piston is not active. So what's wrong with it? Oh, I know. I have the same sensor hooked into the same logic gates. Uh, front sensor is down because the front. Got it. This sensor goes into the back. So now if I do this. Does it try to at least move? Am I looking at this backwards? I might be. And this one needs to power that one. There's a very good chance that that one's exactly what has happened. Have that one power that one, and this one power that one. There it goes. See, I knew what I was doing. Now if I turn this off, that just stops it completely. Okay, so now I have a very, very simple... Uh, I'm just now seeing your comment. Um, what is your creation?
um, if it's on the workshop, I can look it up. Tank the World War II battles. 8.15 something. I probably have the mods for it, to be honest. I might just have to switch to a different world. There's a lot of dust on this keyboard. Uh. Tank. World War II. Dash Abrams. That's an A. A B R. Abrams. Hey Wales. I'd say that's it. Looks vanilla to me. Just let it download. Is it vanilla? Or am I going to have to try to find some mod that you didn't list? Well, let me scoot over this way. Out of the grass. Apparently it's vanilla. Looks like you have single bearing tank drive. Well, that's very complicated looking. Um, looks like it's single bearing tank drive. And you just have it switch from wheel to wheel from inside to outside. No, they're all going the same way. So I'd say it has suspension glitch steering. And it just goes one way. Uh, seat is this white looking office chair. One, two, hurt left and right, hurt up and down, fire. And that's the gunner seat. Other seats here in the front. So there's some button that I have to magically find. Or can I just sneak in the side? That's a piston. I can sneak in the side of it. So the switch does something on the back. Oh. I didn't see that. Well, that's kind of embarrassing. Yeah, suspension glitch. Gas motors, probably. Well, for how many bearings is this? I'd say it probably lacked out the computer when you build it. I've built some pretty things with a lot of bearings. It's in here somewhere. Like, there's this. And then there's like a don't spawn or something, not even try build that I have. Because it got to the point, yeah, not worth it. It got to the point where it crashed my computer at some point because it had so many bearings. And then there's my poor opinion as a tank. I'm not a big very big at all person that does anything with anything. Uh, this is welded at the top somewhere. So this is, has like the vanilla tracks that lag everything out. And it has your normal WASD converter, which is just a gas motor on two suspensions that does bearings. Uh, it has tank drive if I'm not wrong because I see four electric engines yeah it, this is definitely a lot better than it was on my other computer wow. 
and I've been using Grammarly for years. Now the great thing is Grammarly is free and easy to use. It not only helps you check your grammar. Does that thing? Okay, I turned it off. That's good. I was gonna say, is it gonna? Am I gonna have to wait on it to come back or not? And for those of you that are still in school, they recently came out with a brand new feature, which is called the auto citation feature. But this is a really good thing. I think it looks great. Definitely looks like you put a lot of time into it. It's instant and ad-free, so it makes the worst part of writing an essay the easiest. If you guys are writing any sort of research paper, literature review, or that is definitely stuck on the back now. Probably going to save you so much time. Replace a block because scrap mechanic. Succeed in school by improving your grades with the help of Grammarly. Eh, and thought about it. I probably turn the switch back off. So if I turn the switch off, okay. So what's in here? A gyro, by the looks of it. No, that's just your mechanism to control your. Yeah, stop helping around. To control your turret. And this is just your access port, I guess. But I do really like it. I could never have enough time to sit down and design anything like this. So, good job. The most time I've ever put into a scrap mechanic creation has probably been three hours. And that was building a piston engine. Uh, like I had some things that I tried to make look like it was something that failed horribly. Uh, this was a piston for something at some point. And then I have this. Oh. Well. I don't have much on there. But this is like... I think Khan did something like this. A while ago. It's like the fake car. It does it all with logic and stuff, and it has like the different gears and stuff. I'm not sure how long ago he did that. I'm not sure how long ago I did this. Uh, Big Kizzer, I don't know how to say your name. I'm gonna butcher it every time I say it, so just don't get offended. But he asked me to test out the suspension. Maybe the railroad tracks is like one block too high for it. Definitely looks like it. I know it's like one block too high for all my creations because I never really made anything that had small wheels. Let's go over to the center of the map. I think this is the mountain that has like no climb on it. Press number one. By the looks of it, you have one suspension piece for like three or four of the wheels. I've never been good at um, anything tank. I don't have that much imagination this at all. Powers through tough messes, so it makes it look like I spent hours cleaning. <laughs> no, I did Makes my running shoe look like new. It's amazing. It's so good. Makes them look like I have magical powers. Magic eraser and sheets. Or suspension but steering or anything that affects. This looks like the one that has the road that goes up around the mountain of it. I don't know. I made this map for so long ago for me to just have a train track around it. For me to work on my different train builds. Hello, be the quest.
It looks like it's must have a road on it of some sort. I don't see one though. Well. Do I have any mods in this road? Yes. I have the mod pack, some train wheels mods, X's train decorations. I have so many different mods that aren't activated, it's funny. Like at one point I had like 60 or 70 mods in one world trying to build a train. Uh, mod parts. Locomotive parts, that's for like diesel locomotives and stuff. Mechanical parts, does the gears and the U-joints. I really recommend this, it's basically the new um, gears mod, I guess you could call it. They have great collisions and stuff. Texas train mod gives you like buffers and stuff different pieces and segments of rail, uh, DT, DTD train and vehicle parts, has like some windows and curved pieces, also has the train wheels that I originally used, buttons and switches back for like the key lock and the levers. I like to decorate some things, never good at it though. Yeah. That sounds about right. My bitrate is going up and down like every two seconds. There ain't much I can do about that though. I ain't hooked up to a broadband internet connection on Wi-Fi. That's like my thing to do this new year. Is to get broadband in my room. Mod pack. Has rolly content. This gives it like lights and round pieces. Some different blocks and O-rings. Things. They're all unnamed because this mod is just that old. X's detail pack. Gives you different circles and stuff. And other things for, tra for like trains. Oh. Well, I don't know if you could join me or not. If I did, if you did, stream my crash. It's hard to tell what would happen. If you want to watch it without all the freezing and stuff, I would very well recommend you go to my YouTube. It will be up on the end page. I'll try to get it uploaded there at some point. It will be there sometime. So, did I delete? No, I didn't. I want to take as much lag out of the world as I can because that gives the computer less things to think about and hopefully get better bandwidth. I also might X out this stuff. So if I play music on my phone where it goes off of my cell service and not all this other Wi-Fi, it will help some probably. I don't know if you can hear that or not. You might not be able to.
Just barely by the looks of it. Let's see if I can get this one down. Just let me be. Looks like it will balance it. Maybe. I also might have to put the paper where it's stuck. Put the paper here instead. Just let me be. Well, I mean, I don't mind that. Don't worry about that. Kind of so now that I'm back to this, I have it set for all this stuff to work through and I've figured out now. So if I turn the switch off, it will go one direction. I can't control which direction it goes. And all of that stuff. Whoa, that's the wrong mouse. Hide the player where it isn't trying to use all of my internet at the same time. So I can speed this up as much as I want on these pistons. So I can like speed this up halfway and that would just be going faster than this one. Until I get them both the same and then they'll just average it out. So that's four from the end of that one same. And that doesn't really do much than increase torque, and the only way I'm going to get it to go any faster is if I add bigger wheels. So, see how smooth hey, this runs? One piston's always out, one's always in, but because I have the wheels 90 degrees all set. Enhanced listening experience brought to you by our friends at Samsung. Feels 90 what degrees offset, which is also the way that an actual silent mode for brand seconds before their really driving cool. wheels is offset by 90 degrees. Outside you can offset them by 180 if you really wanted to. So that would also make it joggy again. Restore and get ready for so life on a I would either do with bold 90 like or like, peppermint and I think, spearmint, five gum is for daring to dive somewhere in there. Like, it can be less than 90, on. just as life long as it's five. somewhat even. Learn more. If he was going to try to do this and this is without any timers or anything, this is just all pure logic. And if I add some weight to it, I'll increase the amount of time to this. So I do like a big brick of concrete tree top. And add a seat on top of the brick for my buttons to evolve. We'll switch to turn off the button to start the cell. Just add. Just enough concrete to breathe so it's not just too much. This is probably just the right amount. And heat. That's not too much concrete. That's not too much concrete. So now if I touch this button, you know, every time I turn the button on, it's just going to go in the direction. So after this, why is the front wheel spaced out farther than the back wheel? I'm pretty sure I'm not trying to make it. I think it's a 260 that has the one wheel spaced out from the other, the 10 wheel. Or that might have been the four. No, it's a 260 because the 10 wheel is 460. 
I don't know. But that's basic system. So now if I thing to come up off the top of this and have it offset by one on the side. Like let me enable the mod that that other crane example needs where I can show you what I thought about. Now, this is going to lag a lot. This also has the same problem as the one that I have. Or is that backwards? It is. It's fine. But this is basically the less chubby version. Oh, a big boy. Take that out like three. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. So, as you can see in the side of this, I have a powerless piston that boosts this back and forth. They're both inside this block. This one has a timer. Though it isn't as sophisticated as my other one is. Oh, let's reset, but there's a switch in effect. But to get it going, you have to use thrust, but after you get the thrust, you're good. But all this extra linkage and stuff that it has is making it bind up because I don't have have them offset by 90 degrees. So it's doing a power stroke on both of them at the same time. They're also not connected, so if one slips, it's just going to be set off in the other. And I can kind of control these. If you get them in the right place, I have a controller that moves the top and bar back and forth. So push down on it, that should be forward. Pull back on it, that should be reverse if I can get it the right way. It just adds a less sketchy way of turning than the one before. So that's the only thing it really does. And then I'm going to try to perfect this as much as I can. So since we have our starting base of the No60, that can kind of do good things. See how it's starting to chug a lot more now, and ones are wanting to flip the other way? That's because I let loose of the switch and it turned back. What does the button do? All, it resets all of the pulsing. That's right. Well, it says I've been going for an hour and 11 minutes. Probably want to stop this minute before it doesn't take three hours. So. So, see you sometime next week. The reason I didn't continue this right 
after of the last one is because right after the day after that, well, it was that evening that my father had car He wrecked his new truck that was bought in 2006 for F 250. Yeah, this one is the worst. Um, four bed, three quarters on the track. Smash it to pieces. Uh, I don't have any photos to show you. I'm going to show you some of the beginning of the registry, which might be in a week. I'm going to try to do a stream once a week because that's probably as much as Uh, well, I'm thinking about it. Do you guys know of any graphic hand channels that are fire? Where I can find someone to read. Does Mr. Cab1985 sound good to you guys? He's playing Scrap Mechanic Survival. Looks like he's building a dock. If not, starting a base. So let's raid him. Mr. So our case are C Okay, I'm gonna start the raid. See you guys. Well, one of Person's ready. That's enough for me. I'm gonna start the raid. Okay. <laughs> 